in this video we will discuss about the part uh, the, or the component of virus cycle that is capsid assembly and release we will discuss the uh, genome expression and replication in some other video uh, because uh, it differs based on the virus family whereas uh, this capsid assembly and release can be understand in generalized form by dividing them into different categories so let us understand first the uh, capsid family assembly Uh, there are two kind, uh, two types of capsid assembly occurs. Uh, one is sequential and uh, one is parallelly. So let us first understand sequentially. What happens in uh, sequentially is uh, the capsid formation and the capsid formation occurs first after that the injection of uh, viral genome uh, or uh, the insertion of vir viral genome into the capsid occurs through the uh, pores that are present in the pro capsid uh, pro capsid that is uh, capsid forms uh, the process by which capsid formation occurs is first uh, the pentamers of the uh, capsids are formed just for example it is not necessary that every time this pentamers are formed and then th these pentamers uh, combine together to form a uh, pro capsid and this pro capsid has some pores uh, through these pores viral genome enter into the capsid and uh, in this case uh, someone might argue that uh, why this pro capsid can only allow viral genome to enter inside its lumen why not uh, any other uh, genome that is any other genome or any other uh, rna or dna sequence uh, that is uh, present in the cell uh, and for that case uh, someone has identified a signal uh, sequence a signal sequence that is called cis sequence that is present in the viral genome uh, and that allows for that can be detected by pro capsid and it only allows those genome that has this C sequence uh, present in it so in this way uh, only the viral genome will be able to enter into the capsid uh, whereas in case of parallelly capsid assembly formation in parallel capsid uh, assembly formation what happens is that viral genome and uh, capsid formation occurs uh, simultaneously in such a way that viral genome is uh, present inside the capsid uh, when the capsid formation is completed in this case also suppose I am taking the example of pentamer, uh, pentamers, uh, capsid components that are initially formed. There can be another example, uh, uh, another form of uh, components of capsids uh, might be available. Okay, so in this this uh, this is the viral genome and this is the capsids components. So when the uh, capsid assembly formation occurs, when the capsid formation completed, the viral genome is uh, present inside the capsid. So this uh, is majorly 
two categories by in which capsid assembly is uh, separated okay so next step uh, is the release of this capsid uh, into the extracellular uh, extracellular matrix from the pair it can infect the other cells release also has three steps uh, uh, that is uh, for uh, for the naked virus uh, there is no step for the naked virus what it does uh, there is not a three step process for a naked virus it directly lyses the cell that is so kill the cell and uh, so that it can move into the extracellular matrix and then infect the other cell but uh, for envelope cells uh, there is a three step process envelopment process So uh, in this case, uh, this is how the sequence. Uh, so first, uh, the capsid, uh, the envelope, mo uh, most of the envelope proteins has capsid uh, in it. So the envelope uh, proteins. Suppose this is the membrane. Uh, capsid comes in contact with. That is, it is also divided into two parts. One is sequential, and uh, one is parallelly. So we are first discussing about sequentially. in sequentially this capsid formation uh, and the viral genome injection is occurs uh, before it comes into contact with the membrane so when uh, after uh, the viral genome is present inside the capsid it comes in contact with the membrane and it starts the bud formation and the final steps uh, is uh, is called membrane fusion membrane is completely fused to it so uh, in this step uh, what initiates the bud formation in order to initiate the bud formation there is a late l domain uh, has been identified that if that that l domain is present uh, in the uh, viral genome then it will initiate Uh, the bud formation of the uh, membrane uh, late and lumen uh, this i have uh, talked about sequential and now uh, let us understand about uh, parallelly uh, in case of uh, release in case of parallel sequence in parallel process in case of parallel process uh, all the three things happens uh, at the same time three things what are the three things the uh, three things are viral genome formation uh, capsid formation and a uh, binding to the membrane all these three three things occurs uh, parallelly so this bud formation is not not bud formation this capsid formation viral genome injection uh, all these three things happen simultaneously in this case and in the second case is remains same that it will initiate bud formation and the third case uh, it will fuse with the membrane uh, in this case we need to understand uh, or understand that this bud formation occurs at uh, two kind of membranes one is the cell membrane where it can directly uh, move to the extracellular matrix and second one is the uh, endomembrane endosomes endosomes mostly uh, like uh, endoplasmic reticulum or golgi apparatus from there 
uh, they can follow the path for extracellular matrix. So this is a general idea about how the capsid assembly and release uh, functions in the virus cycle. Uh, in the next video or maybe in uh, some other video, we will discuss about how the virus uh, replicates, how the virus uh, replicates and express within the cells. Uh, so that's all for this video. Thank you.